good to hear it run again. <laughs> I've been working on the paint job. And I've got everything blue except for the hood. And, you know, as I've said before, that's just a couple of coats of blue that's on it. Once I get the car all put together and everything finished lining up, uh, I'll scuff it down and put some real shiny, thicker coats on it. But anyway, it's coming along. Now I've got to strip the hood down, sand it down, and put some thick primer on it and paint that. But anyway, uh, it's getting there. I haven't made a video in a while. And I've got a lot of things I've got to hook up. I'm still, uh, you know, starting it up with jumper wires and things like that. i got to put all the wiring harness in it. I've got brand new wiring harness. I've got a new gas tank, new sending unit, new battery tray, a lot of new parts for it. And um, I'm just glad to see that it's all blue now, other than the hood. Keeps me motivated. Let me see if I can start it again and make it run a little bit longer. It was cold. I had just started it whenever I did that. Haven't really adjusted the timing or done anything. Kind of think I probably need to go through and adjust the solid lift camshaft. Adjust the rockers on it. Hang on a second. My accelerator pump's not working. That's why whenever I let it slow down, I can't give it a squirt of fuel and make it run again. And, you know, I've got to hook up all my fan belts and put the radiator in it and everything. I've got the block full of water to run it just a little bit, but can't really run it too much or it'll overheat until I put all that stuff in. But like I said, it's a lot of stuff that I have to hook up now. I've waited 40 plus years to see a blue 67 Corvette sitting in my driveway <laughs> and I'm real happy that we're at this point. It's been a real good Corvette summer so far. Hopefully I can finish it or at least make it run and drive before the summer is over. Anyway, thanks for watching.